Hey everybody, how you guys doing? It is Monday morning. I'm in the California desert between Barstow and Needles. I'm heading on day one of part two of my 10 day extravaganza. Um, I'm my destination, Little Rock, Arkansas. Why? Well, I grew up there between 1980 and 84. I lived there and it is the location and setting of my new graphic novel, Shangri-La Estates. So I'm going there. It's gonna take a two day drive to get to Little Rock to basically take photos, maybe even if I can interview some people, talk to some folks, really get a sense of the environment being in California right now, I'm far removed from it and it's been a while. So I really want to get some authenticity to the to the flora and fauna and the location and all that kind of stuff of Arkansas. So I'm heading out there. I'm out here in the California desert. We're going to be driving through here on the 40 through Flagstaff, uh, Albuquerque, spending the night in Albuquerque tonight and then heading on through Oklahoma to Arkansas tomorrow. So Tuesday night, I should land where I need to be. And so we're just driving this, um, and I'll be reporting to you Continue straight all my for adventures. Eight hours and there you go. Minutes to exit. What's up, everybody? Um, 13 hours later, I arrived at my destination, um, Albuquerque, New Mexico, the home of Breaking Bad, baby. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, 56 bucks gets you a Motel 6 in uh, maybe not the best, but not the worst neighborhood, hopefully, around. Um, it is Motel 6, so if you know Motel 6, there is a aura, a, 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 a smell to it. Um, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, hey, I've been in worse. So, it's all good. I got This is a big honking bed. Um, just me, my lonesome. So tonight, I just jammed from Ventura all the way out here. Took about 13 hours. Really like driving through Flagstaff. Took the 40. Uh, tomorrow, I'll get up in the morning, and then I'm going to do another 13 hours to get to Little Rock, Arkansas. So it was good. Had some Popeye's chicken for lunch. That was great. I got to have my Popeye's. So everything's going well. Uh, Listen to the Hamilton soundtrack, a bunch of podcasts some country music and started writing a new story. So I, l I do a little write while I'm driving. Uh, safely though. Okay, so that's it. Probably gonna retire here in a little bit. There you go. Tuesday morning at about uh, 8 o'clock local time here. Uh, slept over in Albuquerque and now I am headed through, I'm in New Mexico, going through Texas, Oklahoma, and then Arkansas. So this is my last big drive day. Um, nothing much going on here before I hit Amarillo. It is pretty flat, uh, pretty dry. And the speed limit is 75, so that's good. I can bump it up a bit. Um, seeing signs for a lot of fireworks, guns, gun rentals. Didn't know you could rent a gun, things like that. Um, so it's a different world here, and I like that. And I got my little notebook here. So I got my little notebook here, and I'm just taking down notes, jotting ideas, um, just the terrain. Uh, there's, there's, you know, in the locale, you get more ideas for story and for plot and for character. And so, yeah, I've already written out a bunch of things about like what I want to add to the story. You know, it also gives me more memories, reminds me of things that happened, uh, you know, because some of this Shangri-La story is about me or some experiences that I had. So it's kind of pulling some of those out and seeing, you know, would that be a good element for the book or not? So. So far, this is this is really fun because I wouldn't have thought about fireworks and what that was like. But Black Cat, 
we everyone had black cat fireworks just the little firecrackers so uh, and I have some horror stories about that so we might kind of incorporate some of that so there's just things you you just pick up here that uh, is so different and it's, and I love driving this stuff so this is kind of fun just to kind of check out not much to check out right now because it's just um, kind of prairie land but I'm excited going through four states it's a lot of a lot of territory today so uh, there you go hey everybody uh, it is about two o'clock um, I'm in Oklahoma now between Amarillo Texas and Oklahoma City and as you can see it's pretty much still the plains once you hit Amarillo it gets more uh, crops work so there's a little bit more um, agriculture going on here of course it's all irrigated because the rainfall is so low out in this side of uh, the country but uh, it's pretty much plains here um, I will say this about Texas which I was a little disappointed about in New Mexico California Arizona we all have rest stops on this freeway on the 40 through Texas they don't have any rest stops they have picnic spaces which is basically the same thing but no bathroom and to me that's an insult if you're gonna have a freaking picnic space just put a porta potty if you have to but put some bathrooms in these things people come on come on guys um i'm gonna eat a cracker barrel at some point today i'm really excited about that i haven't been to a cracker barrel in forever the other thing was there was a cat in my engine at some point this morning because when I got out of the car or excuse me when I got in the car this morning I started the car up and I'm driving it out of the parking lot I'm hearing this rattling and I'm like I must have got like a plastic bottle or something you know that's dragging on my car and I drive a little ways and I turn around and look in the rearview mirror and there's a cat there it's alive I didn't kill it but a cat was sleeping in my engine compartment overnight this morning and I was driving for a good I don't know 30 feet with that cat in my car and then it plopped down on the ground uh, so that was kind of weird and if you don't know Brahms ice cream you can't tell me nothing how are you gonna tell me something about ice cream and milkshakes if you've never been to Brahms okay so you can have your thrifties your Baskin Robbins your McConnell's turn all that left, stuff let me tell right. you right now you gotta have Brahms okay okay everybody it's about eight o'clock I've been running hard on the trail as you know for the last two days the dusty trail there's only one place that I can go that will appease me that will sucker me in my need of want. That's right. We're at Crackle Barrel, people. <laughs> Crackle Barrel. If you haven't been here, you don't know what's up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that we're entering into Arkansas, we're kind of coming close to the border now, you can see that um, it is now fully forested, the whole place. It is all treed up, and you know, again, in the springtime, this would all just be super green. Now, these you can't really use these for lumber because it's so uh, thin. So th these trees are just here. You can't, we can't really use them for much. But uh, this whole place and all of Arkansas is going to be like this. It's this just covered, forested land. So I'm really excited to kind of see it. So as you can see in the video so far, we've seen like just the complete change in topography and uh, flora from the, from the area, so there you go, entering Arkansas. Okay, we just passed Oklahoma City, so we're in Oklahoma headed towards Fort Smith, uh, which is right there on the border of Arkansas and Oklahoma, and yeah, so now you can kind of see a little bit more trees now, of course. We're in February, so if this was the springtime, this would all be green, and all these trees and hills would be full of just green 
lusciousness, which is pretty, actually pretty remarkable. So yeah, so we can kind of see that uh, the climate's definitely different here. people here. We're going to go to Brahms. If you guys haven't been to Brahms Ice Cream, I'm going to break that down to you right now. We're going to go check that place out real quick. Morning everybody. It's Wednesday morning. I'm at a Super 8 motel here. Morning of Wednesday, a little outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. So I'm basically here at my destination and now the mission is to go to some of the spots that I grew up in and take a lot of photographs and get a lot of this um, area background so it could be more authentic to the story so um i'm eating my uh free continental included breakfast here and then i'm gonna take a shower and hit the road and start uh taking photos and doing my adventuring hey good morning everybody i realized that i haven't been recording this morning uh because i've just been hitting hard after uh getting out of the hotel room uh, I've been going to Mapleville, Sheridan, uh, South Little Rock, all these places of where either my mom went to work, we went to school, where we lived, in the trailer park, all these things, and uh, I have been video recording it, but I've been taking tons of photos. I actually got to speak to the now owner of the trailer that we used to live in, and we chatted a little bit about some of the changes and things that's been going on. The trail was a little dilapidated now than what it was uh, back, you know, 30 years ago, but uh, it's still there. <laughs> There's still stuff going on. As you can tell, hopefully about the video, this is very rural, this area, and uh, there's all these new homes here, but it's pretty much woods. I mean, you can see everywhere here is just forest, you know, uh, and then of course they're clearing this out to build some something probably. Got to go to Walmart and all those kind of fun places. I'm I'm really having a blast seeing all this stuff. I'm right now going to go to Hot Springs. So I think I got the majority of the reference photos and things I need for the trailer stuff. The trailer park stuff. Some more of that. It's just all kind of country land. It's beautiful. And now though, I need to get more... Um, I want to get some more reference photos for like more of the surrounding area. Like the woods the lakes, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go to Hot Springs. There's a national park there. I'm gonna go check that out and kind of do some hiking because there's a couple of scenes in the book where uh, Sarah's boyfriend, Henry, takes Andy out for a little camping. And so I wanna get some good images of that. Uh, you know, I don't want this book to look like California like the Sequoia National Park or you know anything like that. I want it to look like Arkansas. And there is something distinct about this place. It's not Oklahoma. It's not Texas. It's its own thing. And so I want to be true to that. Look at all these just huge stands of trees. All these pines. Okay, that's it. Hey everybody, today we're here in Little Rock, Arkansas at this rad shop called Retro Game Comics, and I just want to like show you guys this really cool shop. Here you go. What was your name again? I'm Jack. 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 Okay, there you go. And this is uh, this is like was this like a house? I'm assuming that was kind of like a hundred year old house. Oh my gosh, it yep. is so cute. I mean, we don't have shops like this where I'm back oh, in my wow. my yeah, my yeah. neck of the woods. Well, we're in the historic district, and the owner of the house used to live here oh, wow. in the 70s and okay so we have a shop here then there's, there's a shop above, up, above us and somebody lives above that so oh great this is yeah. great so one of the things i noticed was like this is all the trades they have and i love that that it's just two shelves of trades and these other rooms are floppies let me just show you guys this this is it's so clean i just really like the organization of it and kind of like the displays here um, they're just simple, it's elegant, it's clean. They've got tons of new titles. So this place, you guys gotta come here. If you're in the Little Rock area or in Arkansas in general, you just gotta come check this place out. It has, looks like a, the full, you know, list of all the majors uh, from Diamond month to month here, I would say. And I'm sure because of their account, they can order you guys anything else you guys need. So 
I really dig it. It's clean, easy to find. And check out, there's another room here. And this room is pretty rad too. So check this out. This is rad. <laughs> this room. It's got a little like TV here. That's rad. They've got little chill areas. There's movies. They might be doing movie night here. they got Star Wars Rebellion. That's a great game. They've got paperbacks. I'm digging it. I dig this place. Retro grade comics in... Is this Little Rock proper or North? Where is this? Little Rock proper? Little Rock, okay. Arkansas. Hillcrest. 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 Hillcrest area. Heart, heart of Hillcrest. The heart of Hillcrest. District. There you go. Right before I end, why don't we get the owner to say, why did you decide to be insane and start a comic shop? <laughs> what was, what was like, is there, is there a reason? A is there a, yeah. give it, give it, yeah, give okay. it to us so we can hear well, it. Well, I was a, um, a child psychotherapist for like oh, wow. 15 years. Okay. Uh, you know, it was a taxing, taxing job. Yeah. And uh, I've always been a comic book fan. Uh, love, you know, just everything about it. I'm always up on everything. I yeah. really wanted to do a comic book store that was different. Mm -hmm. uh, a place where people could hang out. Um, reading areas, clean layout. Uh, not so comic book -y, yeah. I guess. Yeah. That, that, that type of... Uh, Messy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we wanted to really connect with our customers on a personal level. Yeah. We, uh, we really tried to get to know everybody who comes in. Yep. And um, yeah, we're, uh, we're a place to hang out, place yeah. to read. Awesome. Four months. You've only been here four months. Four months. Four months. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So they're just starting out and it looks mm -hmm. like a great start. So really excited. Retrograde. What's the address? 2612 Cavanaugh Boulevard, Little Rock, go. Arkansas. There you go. 72205. Okay, you know where to go. Okay, Everybody, thanks. Guys. I'm here in Amarillo, Texas. Um, worst Motel 6 ever. I like Super 8s much better than Motel 6. But check this out. It snowed last night. There's snow. Can you see this? Um, there's some snow up here. I haven't been in snow in a while. I didn't know it was going to be this freaking cold. My plan was to go to Santa Fe and then Albuquerque today, go to some Indian reservations, things like that. Um, I'm gonna have to check the weather and see what's going on, but yeah, it's snow. Uh, that's legit right there. So, gonna have another great day. I'm looking forward to seeing some sights. And um, there you have it. Hey everybody, it's um, Thursday morning. We are in West Texas past Amarillo heading towards New Mexico as you can see it rained it uh, snowed last night and uh, the car was all iced up so I haven't dealt with that in a long time so we're here uh, coming towards New Mexico yesterday I did all the Arkansas stuff and I was gonna spend two days there but it turned out that I think I got what I needed to with one day so I decided to just haul butt and I drove to about 2 a.m. and I got to Amarillo so I went through all of Oklahoma last night. Um, there is a Cherokee Museum in Oklahoma uh, that I was thinking of going to, but it's not in Oklahoma City. It's in a little town closer to Tulsa, and so it just wasn't going to work out for me because it was too late by the time I was going through there. And I didn't want to spend a whole other day in Oklahoma, so I figured I'll just drive through it. So now the plan is... I'm going to head out to Santa Fe, which looks like the better place for art and culture than Albuquerque. I'm going to spend the day in Santa Fe, and I might either bed down there, or I'll get back on the dusty trail and keep going south towards Mesa. The mission now, now that I've done Arkansas and gotten stuff for Shangri-La State's comic, now I'm going to really look at more... Uh, Native American stuff, Indian gear, and the kind of uh, mountains and plateaus and this kind of like geography for Boaz because Boaz definitely has this, you know, kind of Mobius Southwest look to the alien world and the alien races and so I want to kind of get some inspiration and use maybe some Native American motifs uh, or geography of this area for the comic so we're uh, I'm really excited because I, I love um, this kind of stuff so we're excited and so we're just going to keep driving today.
There you go. So as you can see now, it's all snowy. There was must have been a big storm up here in uh, New Mexico last night because it was not like this at all when I came in through on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, but now all the uh, shrubs and trees are all frosted and uh, the ground of course is all frosted too. So yeah, we've got a, basically a little bit of a snow action going on here today. Uh, hopefully Santa Fe won't be too bad. I have no idea. Um, but I'm hitting museum, so I'll be inside the whole time, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I was kind of hoping to get more of the red and green and those kind of traditional, you know, summer colors of here, not a bunch of white. But I'm going to just suck it up. But it is definitely colder up here. Okay, I'm in the Native American Indian um, International Art Museum in Santa Fe. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of this place. So this is not strictly Native American, it's international uh, folk art here in Santa Fe. And uh, there's all kinds of different stuff here. It's really kind of fascinating. And coming on a Thursday, there's nobody around. So that's kind of nice too. All kinds of different cultures and things here. Whoa, whoa, check that out. Oh my gosh, that is rad. Wow, I really like that. Look at that. So neat, a whole little city. Yeah, this is really neat. So anyway, I'm gonna show you around here just for a little bit. And we'll, uh, then I'm going to spend some time here and looking at things with, with more care. But here's the other side of that. Wow, oh, that's so neat. So yeah. Oh, look at that big old castle. That's in there. That's a big old... Look at this. Hey everybody, um, I'm here in Santa Fe downtown. I'm gonna spend a couple hours checking this out. Let me tell you right now, I'm super excited. I don't know why, I just think this is the cutest little town. I've never seen anything like it. Um, I'm excited to eat, gonna see some more museums, but this is just the cutest little place. It's a, you know, it's a little out there. Santa Fe's not close, but um, I might not never come back. But this is really, really cool. So I will be showing you guys all about what's going on here i love these brown buildings i mean it's just all oh, got this really cool you know mexico new mexican style thing it is cool and i'm smelling food like a mother Okay, everybody, what's up? I'm here at in Santa Fe at a place called Meow Wolf. This is a crazy, psychedelic, um, fully immersive place that tells a story, and I'm about to experience it, and I'm gonna tell you all about what it is about. I'm really excited. Let's do this. Okay, we're about to uh, go into the chamber to start this process. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's going to be fun.
Hey everybody, I'm gonna just do a quick video here. I just finished Meow Wolf here in San Jose. This is, excuse me, in Santa Fe. It's the first Meow Wolf ever. They're building another one in Vegas and one in uh, Colorado. It was some next level art, okay? Storytelling, interactive art, uh, multimedia, drawings, paintings, story. There's like a story to uncover. It's just visually the most exciting thing I've ever seen, just straight up. It was so cool. Um, I don't even know what to say. I, I, it's, it was just mind blowing. It's massive. It's, it's like a massive two floor soundstage. They put a house in there. And in the house, you go into these portals and these other dimensions, open the refrigerator, you go through the refrigerator to do this other place. There's all kinds of technology, animated shorts, little short films, TVs going on, videos, screens, interactive, everything's interactive. There's all these papers, the reports and, and books to read and notes and clues to find out the story. You can just go and check it out or you can like try to figure out the story of what happened to this, this family and this house and, and why did it go missing and everything. Let me tell you, dude, this was so, so interesting and so revolutionary. I'm gonna show you some stills. I'll put a bunch of stills of it inside, but it doesn't do justice. If you're in Santa Fe, which I know no one is because it's a freaking small town out of nowhere, but Meow Wolf, dude, it is, it's next level, dude. I'm telling you, it's art, it's storytelling, it's interactive, it's multi-channel, multimedia, it is creative, man. Oh my gosh, it was so, so good. And I ain't getting paid for nobody. This is just me telling like it is. Hey, good morning everybody. It's Friday morning. I'm here in Grants, New Mexico, which is about an hour west of Albuquerque off the, um, I think the 40 West. And I'm out here at the Sands Hotel. And I think there's some historic significance to this place. This is right here by the uh, historic 66. It's a little bit of a flea bitten, whatever you call it, place, but I don't mind it. And it was cheap and actually it was fine. It's so like dead here, so it's fine. Um, the plan now is to head to Sedona, Arizona. I'm gonna go on some hikes today and then head down and see family over down in uh, Phoenix. And then that's the end of the trip and I'm coming home. So a little desert town, literally nothing's going on here. Uh, but it, if you wanna stay in Grants, go to the Sands Motel, I highly recommend it. <laughs> anyway, so uh, slept good. Uh, starting to miss the family big time. So I'm kind of, I'm having so much fun here, but it'd be nice to uh, see family. So that'll be good. So yeah, so right now I'm gonna do about a four hour drive to Sedona, do some hikes, photography, and there you go. So uh, let's do it. So this is Historic 66, and this is uh, Grants, New Mexico. So we're on the actual 66. You can kind of see some of these old places. And now we're uh, gonna get back into civilization here. Hey everybody, we are in Arizona now in Flagstaff. I'm gonna take a little lunch break here in a minute. I'm actually going down here to the Walnut Canyon National Monument. So there's not too many national monuments around. So I figured, you know what, it's a three mile little detour. I'm gonna go do it and check this out. I, I took a quick stop at the Petrified Forest National Park, but I didn't have time to go in and enjoy it. So unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to see that. Um, but it looks like definitely a place I'd want to go see. Look at the Badlands, the Painted Desert, see some of those different rock formations, and they do a lot of um, uh, paleontology and kind of uh, dinosaur fossil research there. But uh, as you can tell now, 
uh, this upper Arizona is all forested. I mean, this this could be California. This could be. Uh, this looks just like uh, the Sequoia National Park, you know, and the Sequoia National Wilderness. So let's go take a look at this today. I'm in Flagstaff here at Satchmo, uh, themed for the uh, legendary musician uh, Louis Armstrong. At Satchmo's here, Flagstaff, gonna have some Cajun food. Got a recommendation from my brother. Uh, it's all, this place is all decked out, you know, Mardi Gras stop, Mardi Gras is next week. So everyone's decked up for that. Um, after this, heading down to Sedona, which is about an hour south of here. Uh, gonna do a quick little hike if I can. There's like a spooky place to go see. And then I'm heading down to Phoenix to see family. And that's the end of the trip. Uh, so a couple more videos and I'll probably just package this up and then upload it to the channel. So thanks for watching guys. Let's see if this, uh, I got the pull boy. Let's see if this is good, because I've been in Nolens, so I know what the real stuff is. I'm curious if these guys in Arizona know what they're doing. We'll find out. Everybody, it's uh, Sad Friday. Friday at about 4.30. And uh, I'm in Sedona, Arizona, and uh, I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you guys what's going on. Here we go, let's check it out. Okay, everybody, this is Sedona. I'm here on a trail called Hog Heaven, next to Hog Wash. And uh, I'm here in Sedona, Calif Sedona, Arizona. I'm so used to saying California. Sedona, Arizona. This is, uh, I'm gonna go visit family tomorrow. Then I'm heading home Sunday. This is pretty much the end of the video, I think. The rest is just gonna be family stuff. It's not really fun, travelog wise. Uh, so I think this is gonna be the end of the show here today. Uh, if something awesome happens, then maybe I will do some more video. But I think we're gonna end it here. Um, and yeah, this is beautiful. I love the green and reds how it really makes the green pop and the red pop, right? Again, we're talking about uh, complementary colors, you know? And it just makes the green look so green and the red's really great. Um, I don't know the names of all these peaks and stuff, but uh, it's gorgeous, it's different, I love it. Definitely taking a lot of photos for my book, Boaz, uh, because the alien world is gonna have some of this kind of look to it. It's gonna be, you know, that Mobius type of southwestern feel. Um, so yeah, this is a beautiful place. I had a great trip. It was been a wonderful 10 days. I was in DC. Then as you know, I came back and I drove from Ventura, California, the Pacific Beach, all the way to Little Rock, Arkansas. Spent some time on these different places. Hit pretty much everything I needed to, wanted to. Uh, a lot of places I want to come back with family and show them. Uh, so this has been the Art of Comics. This is my travel log, my adventures. Got to see some cool comic shops, cool stores, and uh, to stay tuned for more videos twice a week. These come out Tuesday and Saturdays. Thanks so very much for watching. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, hit the subscribe. Tell me what you think of it. Comment below and all that jazz. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.